Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, be comfortable yourself and relax your body and keep your back straight, neck head straight in one line and your right palm on your left. So gently close your eyes and bring your attention to this bell sound. And while you're focusing to the sound, you can mentally relax your body, relax your mind, or relax your breathing with your thoughts. And do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. Namo tassa bhagavato arato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arato samma sambuddhassa Homage to the Blessed one, the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So, dear Dhamma practitioners, in this ongoing meditation sessions, we mainly try to cultivate ourselves tranquility meditation and at the same time inside meditation or another way, Chitta Bhavana and Panya Bhavana. If you bring another meaning, tranquility meditation is called Samadhi or Samatha and inside meditation it's called analytical meditation or Vipassana. So this all meanings and connotations is important for us to understand where we have to keep going because when it comes to meditation it is not just closing our eyes and dreaming ourselves or thinking ourselves so the thoughts always going to happen inside us but beyond the thoughts there is a consciousness that getting to that consciousness and recognizing that consciousness is the development of your awareness. Attention we can develop on the surface level by intention. But the consciousness not going to develop by intention or putting effort, the, the, the using the effort on it. Because the consciousness is itself exists there and happening there. When it comes to the human life, your human life, your this body, build on the consciousness. So each and every cell in your body, head to toes, each and every atom in your body, muscles, bones, veins, bone marrows, this everything, interconnected through the consciousness. But what happens in day-to-day -day life, we cannot bring this all together. We cannot bring the, the connection and we mostly caught up on thoughts and just tangle with the thoughts. Thoughts are just a byproduct of your consciousness. Rather than caught up on thoughts, if you able to, 
settle down without reacting to thoughts and just bring the awareness and observe then you can get connected to the consciousness so the very life itself when you mean by the present moment that mean you tune to the consciousness so and at the same time we have to remember in this very moment our life build on our past so we we cannot get out of the past and it is nothing wrong with the past another way the past we can call as karma or as memory as your blueprint as your foundation as your habits as your patterns and as your knowledge this all your related to your past so so far in your life knowingly or unknowingly most of the things happened unconsciously why it happened unconsciously because we used to to repeat things when there is a repetition come there is no way in that repetition your awareness going to become stronger i repeat it again when the when you repeat something in that repetition there is no way your awareness going to become stronger so then just imagine just look yourself from morning to night just a ordinary life mostly we are repeating our bodily verbally mentally actions you can do the same thing without repeating and when you become conscious when you become mindful when the awareness become the 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 highest or the first and maybe you do the same thing like you have done yesterday in the surface level the pattern look like same but deeply it is a very brand new moment of action so practicing meditation and may you may you you may see so we do the same thing again and again and again but it is not a repetition and again and again you take a conscious decision and by the time what will happen your consciousness become stronger than your action so in certain level this consciousness going to see more clearly your inner behavior so what is happening in you because mostly when we experience something we mostly go towards outside and we we don't see what is happening inside us but while you watching now if you able to look that what is happening in you then you will recognize something that recognition will bring the connection to your consciousness so if you bring the habits then what will happen that connection not going to happen so there is a method that rather than pushing your habits or the patterns or the methods so your karma the where it is very need for us so without karma your life cannot happen 
if the all the karma disappeared you cannot have this human body you are going to die there is a death it's called kamakha when the karma is over you cannot exist so then you need something from your past to exist in the present moment but rather than depending on the past using that all if you able to to recognize the present moment tune to the present moment and that will help you to to go beyond the the memory so but in day to day life what happens you have a choice to go with your past and memory and thinking about it it's like it's like soil you you can get dirt out of the soil but how about if you put it into the right place and maybe you got your garden vegetable garden fruits trees and that soil that dirt nourish that tree and bring the the fruits so then when you eat the fruits it brings the life to you but you can use that same dirt put on you oh this is very important this dirt is very important and then you you cover it with the 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 dirt and go to the other people no one going to accept you but look the same dirt but the way you use it totally different and bring the totally different outcome so you pass the same you experience the same who you are in this very moment the same so if you use the memory if you use the past and your desires self centered mind or the view then what will happen and sometimes rather than becoming wise you can become wounded damaged get hurt once you become wounded it is very difficult to recover inside that is what happening most to, to most of us in our life we keep repeating thinking about our own past it's like you put the dirt on you you and then you try to live with it but if you develop a science method skill mechanism in you the same dirt to put it to the right place and to the trees to the garden and out of that what you gain and it will help for you to to make you more comfortable but there is a process for that so like that you can use your memory your past your experience to become wise rather than becoming wounded use your old experience to become wise so how you can do this if you hold it to the memory or the past or as who you are then you going to get wounded then what you need to do in the very first level you have to be mature to understand it is past so whatever happen in your in your life it doesn't matter good or bad whatever happen in your life it is past that's mean it's go that is what you have to understand recognize the very meaning of the past because that recognition itself levitate you from the the moment you hold it but mostly when it come to words we just hold it from the shallow level of meaning so if you able to understand its past its gone then what you have you have the present moment and then be with the present moment why 
because very soon this is going to go and connect with the past. So rather than depending on that, spend the time right now, right here within you. If you are able to come to that point, what will happen? Rather than becoming wounded, you use the method to be wise. You becoming wise. So then you have to have the will to let go this. Let go what? Let go who you are. Everything. Head to toes, all your body and mind. All you accumulated as knowledge, just drop for the for a moment. Let let your body to be itself. Don't interfere with it, and let your mind to settle down with the awareness. So the, not the thoughts, awareness, what do you feel right now, right here, in this very moment. So let your mind to settle down with it and be there. So when the, when the thoughts come, look, you look yourself, are you? Go with that thoughts, is that, is that the, the real moment of happening something? No, oh, it is a mem memory. If anything related to memory, Bring your mind back to the primary mental object, be with it. That's why in the beginning, we bring a primary mental object to get the help, to anchor our attention towards that. Little by little, little by little, maybe it will go away, little by little, bring it back, bring it back. In certain level, you will see, it's going to settle down with that. So once you settle down with that tranquility moment, your body, your mind going to harmonize. Tune together, start to work as one. That will bring some kind of certain level of understanding to yourself. So once you have it, from that point, you start to look the very nature of the whatever happening to you. If you don't add any thoughts, you will see how things come to be as they are. And when you see that way, you will recognize there is nothing happening independently. Anything, whatever happens, it happens with the help of a lot of other things. Another way it's called causality, cause and effect, dependent origination. So whatever arises, it depends from something. This is the fundamental wisdom you need to recognize, not regarding outside, just within yourself. But in the outside, we can get the help. That we use the similes, examples. Why? Because then it is very easy for us to follow ourselves. So anything, if you look very carefully, this everything, this material things, physical things, always in a journey, transform to something. So if you allow it to happen that way, what will happen? You find the freedom. But the thing is, when we experience something physically or materially, we hold it to it and we put the seal, this is me, we put the identity signature and once you put that to your identity signature 
self-centered mind. What will happen? That change will keep happening underneath, but in our mind, we caught up with the thoughts, thinking, oh, it is mine. It is me. So that is something. So as example, you know, just, just imagine this paper. I can hold it. This paper is mine, mine. Then what will happen one, while I am holding this? My whole body and mind start to react in a certain way. Entire nerve system start to become kind of like a, the spider hold it to the net. So that physical reaction happens. That physical reaction itself affect to our, our mind. So the mind also then start to shrink. That itself, we call the greed or the, 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 the lust. And once it shrink itself as a result of that, what will happen? Hatred arise, unsatisfaction arise, and the ignorance arise again and again, it go in that circle. So then just imagine this paper. So if you burn this paper, what will happen to it? Certain part become a smoke and it go to the sky. Certain parts of this paper become ashes, it's go to the ground. And certain parts become carbon dioxide. And the, the certain part absorbed by the heat. So then certain parts go to heat, certain parts go just to the, the smoke go to the sky, and synchronize with the clouds and the ashes go to the ground, synchronize with the, the earth and the carbon dioxide go to the air. So whatever went to the, the earth, what will happen? The, the become soiled. So then the trees start to absorb it through the roots. And maybe it can become some fruit trees or the vegetables or the flowers. And whatever the, the smoke went to the, the sky and it start to become clouds. And then later it is start to bring the rain and the carbon dioxide. And it goes to the trees and the, by the tree absorb it and then turn it to oxygen and the very next day you inhale it brings the life to you and the heat and it also in this air will nourish in a certain way so this like that this all the material we cannot destroy it it, it has a way to transform it doesn't have any ownership. It never going to stop that journey anywhere. It never build a real, the, the permanent relationship, any material. It has its own way of journey. But what happened by thoughts, if I hold it to this, it is just become just a thought. And only our awareness or the consciousness going to stuck with that thoughts. So this will keep happening and we just hold it to thoughts. And then it become kind of like a dream. So now that this example from this paper apply to anything in your life, even your own body. What will happen to your own body? This is all the material, this is the physical things. Has that germ? Where the hair you had 10 years ago? Where the skin you had 10 years ago? And even the whole this memory, 
and the all that your thoughts and you nourish from your old ancestors from the culture tradition nations the through these ideas but as you know you know that whatever flush out of your body and it take your memory also that's why that uh, you know the to to recognize certain disease or the illness or to recognize the your history sometimes they take a urine class uh, sample and so that's mean it it has a, it, it take with something and this is this all it's it's always in a in a journey and as you know the blood the heart in deeply that has circulate and or oh, take out take all the the unnecessary things and purify the blood even if the blood it's the very essence of you know our this physical that never going to be the same it's in a journey and once you recognize that this all these muscles the body bone marrows this everything always in a journey have a connection each other it is is transformed to something so the the very consciousness also the same it is not your consciousness going to be solid and the only the body going to change your awareness also the consciousness also always with that why because the consciousness come out of this and the the consciousness is not going to be just yours it is not personal consciousness always there is happening and when the necessary conditions course and conditions there are the consciousness will arise so then nothing is yours only the moment of experience we can have so then what you need to do rather than memory just tune to the moment of experience why because the only that bringing the meaning to your life so if you settle down with that no even you will recognize that moment will disappear very very quick and then you recognize in the depth of this all there is nothing permanent so one should have that that wisdom will bring the light to inside your darkness bring that light will bring the ability to see the moment of actions and that will bring the ability to understand how to react to situations and once you tune to that there's nothing can challenge to your life why because whatever happens you know it happens as a result of course and conditions causality and it nothing going to be permanent what you experience with your eye ear nose tongue body mind you know there is nothing going to be permanent and once you have that you not bound to outcomes once you not bound to outcomes once you don't look the end once you don't look the completion once you don't look for the satisfaction once you settle down with the moment of happening it's bring the total freedom but if you look for end satisfaction completion 
it will lead you to go with again and again and again and again to the heart. So that itself creates the habitual pattern inside us. We all, we all need the end. When you, know, when you look at watch the movie, you come to watch the end. It's bring the completion of oh, its end. How about then, you know, where, while you're watching the movie, suddenly, in for, within five minutes, just the blank screen. That's it. Nothing. No sound, no mean. What will happen? You get disappointed. You're listening to a song in this very, you know, first line, few lines, and then suddenly it is stopped. That's it. You get disappointed. You feel kind of like, a, you know, uncomfortable. We always keep end when, 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 we, when we end. So even practicing meditation, you know, you close your eyes and then you wait and then I ring the bell. Ah, then you feel, oh, it's good. So how about, you know, you close your eyes, you practice, just, just imagine you close your eyes and practice meditation and you go and I, I disappear from here. Then you do, what happened? What happened? So that is really happening in our life. But we are the one who creating a completion. And in the surface level, we think, oh, it's end. Oh, that is good. It is end. There is nothing like that. We are the one who created for our own comfort and we settle down with that comfort and we go with it. But look you have a life. What is end? There is no, no end. And even very happening of life. Are you living or are you dying? So answer yourself. Which one happening in you? So you can tell, are you living? Or are you dying? It's when it comes to life. Can you find a meaning to that? So even for the birth, just imagine, expand that. Are you leaving from a place? Are you came to a place when you're born? Are you live from a place or are you came to a place? So are you living or are you dying? And then how you come to point in, in a certain level in with actions? Because that is where we addict. Why? Because our mind has a way to look for an end. And we keep going with that, keep going with that, we go, keep going with that. Because of that, we settle down with the completion, end result, last moment. We feel, oh, it's good, it's done. Oh, we did that. No, there's something keep happening. So rather than look for that end result, can you, because that, that is come as a pro, project your mind towards the future. So rather than that, go towards the end result, cut it down and just be with the moment. And then you will see there is, a, there is something in it. That is what you have to catch. So you can go deeper, deeper, inhale, the beginning, middle, end. So the end giving, oh, inhale, it complete. No, if you go deeper, even in the beginning, there is an end. So if you come, if you come to that point, and you will see. Your mind not going to hold it to 
the outside layer happen. Even it experience deeply, you resonate with the, the deeper that rhythm. That itself bring the transformation to your mind. And then when you have that, you are not bound to this material, physical outcomes, designs, patterns, methods. But in, the, in our whole life, in this conventional life, in this material world, as culture, tradition, in even spiritual practice, even meditation, so this was the old build on the surface level, looking for an end result. If you look for an end result, remember, you are still in the current of samsara. So the, when you deeply come to observe the inhalation, exhalation, there's no uh, something can call inhalation or exhalation. There's something uh, just happening. There's no beginning or end. So if you, if you come to that level, you will recognize it happened as a result of this everything. So this is a moment we're going to practice a little bit. Only thing is just give your best you must stay with your primary mental object, which is your own inhalation, exhalation in front of your nose and your pelvic area. And little by little, little by little, without looking for an end result, just see what is happening itself. So remember, be careful not to interfere with your thoughts, not to judge yourself, not to maintain yourself, not to argue yourself, not to make any comments, not to have any mental chattering yourself, just keep observe. So let's get into practice a little bit and be comfortable yourself and relax your body and your right palm on your left. And then get straight in one line. Bring your attention to your body and observe head to toes. And say, Swapatveva, oh, may I be well and happy three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment, with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment, this is the last moment we're spending in this very lifetime. Detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation and exhalation. So in the beginning, deeply and gently, breathe in, breathe out, three times please. So allow your inhalations, exhalations, happen itself. Do nothing extra.
bring your attention to your body, please. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also, as far as you can, through galaxies, other planets, stars. Reminding yourself like this, with clear intention, mentally, repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe and may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Being so are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from you. Forward, visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your backside. To your left side. into your right side. Downward. And upward. to all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy, without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy.
Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So, first of all, we offer this practice to the great qualities of the Buddha, Dhamma, and the Sangha. And also by the power of this meritorious deed, may all of us attain to supreme bliss of Nibbana. Also, may all your guardian angels will receive this merits and increase their longevity and protect all of you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects. Vittavata chami hi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva numodantu sabbu sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta numodantu sabbu sampati siddhya sabbe satta numodantu sabbu sampati siddhya Imaya Dhamma Nu Dhamma Pati Patiya Buddham Kuje Mi Dhamma Kuje Mi Sangham Kuje Mi Attaya Imaya Pati Patiya Jati Jaravya Dimaranam Ha Paribunjissami Idam Me Punya Kammanga Savakkaya Vahang Hotu Sabha Dukkha Pamunchatu Bless you.